Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So I had the pleasure of uh, hooking up with a new Kickstarter uh, with a little laptop by PikaGo. Now this is in Indigo right now, so the release is going to be about 300 bucks or so. And I actually took this with me on my latest travel adventure. Uh, so I'm going to talk about in this video my experience with it uh, and uh, what I recommend it or not. Uh, so let's get into this video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So in this video, I'm just going to do a brief unboxing and overview of this device here. Uh, this is from PikaGo. They're in Indigo right now, and they're getting ready to start. They're going to launch this, uh, and I teamed up with them. I said, sure, I'll check it out. A mini PC, and this will be great for people who travel and want to pack really, really light. Uh, this has a 1080p display, a camera, fast charging via Type-C. Uh, there is an LTE version coming out. I don't know if they sent the LTE version or not, but we'll see. As you can see, 360 de degrees rotating uh, IPS panel, 7 inches. So this, is, this should be a really compact PC. Got the full QWERTY keyboard and everything on there. Not many specs on the in, on the on the outside, but it does have an Intel processor. Uh, and um, again, this is uh, coming out pretty soon, so I'll link the Indigo page below. Uh, but yeah, Type C. Um, it should be pretty cool. I want to, I'm ready to crack into it and, and let you guys see it. Um, so let's do that. <clears throat> this should be pretty interesting. They sent over obviously the Type C cable. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this is an HDMI cable, and they also sent over a little carrying pouch that I probably would not use, but we shall see. Uh, but uh, Type C is in here, and again, that's the HDMI cable they sent over because you can display this on a bigger screen. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting, actually. I'm, I've been uh, kind of waiting to share this with you guys, just waiting for the right time. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get it open here for you. Mini PCs could come in handy. This is running Windows 10 S, I believe. Uh, but you can upgrade to full Windows 10, but you lose, obviously, if you go from, from S to 10, you know what happens. You can't go back to S. So here it is right here. Let's pop it open. Really compact. Got a little, man, it's got a little bit of weight to it. I wasn't expecting that. It, it definitely has some weight. So this is not the LTE model, but it is coming. So they sent over this, uh, just a Wi-Fi version. You obviously have the instruction manual, which I don't think, this is Windows. So I don't know how much I would need to read that. And then here's the Type-C uh, charging cable. Uh, really long Type-C charging cable. Let's see if there's any juice. But before we get into it, here's the outside of it right here. Uh, you've got some PicoGo branding there. You've got two speakers facing you here. Rubber feet on the bottom there. Nothing on, no ports on this side. And then you've got an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, a headphone jack. And that's the HD out right there for the HDMI. And you've got a 3.0 one port there and a type C. And that is pretty intriguing. And whoa, yeah, I got a front facing camera. We'll check that out. They didn't send over very many specs because again, this is still uh, in the process of coming along. So it looks like it has some juice. It's powering up. There it is. Wow, this is compact, man. This is something that I'm going to load up a ton of movies and use this on the plane. <laughs> this this should be pretty interesting. And again, remember, it's 360 degrees. Uh, so it'll, it'll flip around into tent mode and just completely around to tablet mode. That is going to be really sweet. Um, yeah, that hinge on there is super strong, folks. So if you're looking for a strong hinge, this is definitely it. Um, this should have Bluetooth more than likely. You've got a microphone right there for your video calls and video chats, and you've got another microphone over here on this side of the keyboard. Wow, this is intriguing. Full-size QWERTY keyboard is definitely possible. I've got huge hands, and it still looks like it's going to do okay. So first off, this is a fully articulating display. It rotates 360 degrees. It's like a, it's a seven inch display. It's a very small laptop, but it still has a full QWERTY keyboard. Uh, the display is 1080p. You do have a front facing camera up there. Not the best for sure, it only records in 480p, but I can think of another machine that I purchased for thousands of dollars that has a 480p display. So the display itself is actually really nice, really crisp. Uh, and it's really nice. The keyboard, on the other hand, is a little cramped. Uh, you won't, I, as you can see, my hand covers this entire thing. So I went with the thumb method. I went with, of texting or, or, excuse me, emailing and typing on this thing. I went and I went with the thumb method. Uh, I, I thought that was best uh, for for input because input is something you might do a lot on this device. Uh, and so I wanted to tackle that really fast for you. For me, my hands are way too big for this. 
uh, to try to do like a QWERTY, the full setup like that, it's, it's very uncomfortable and cramped. The keyboard is actually split, and the space bar is actually split into two. Then you also get a right and a, a right click and a, a main click, left click button there. Um, but it's not a bad keyboard. It's just small because it's a seven inch device. So you do have Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, uh, and you have some great input IO. So you have uh, type C fast charging, and I'll get into the battery in a little bit. You've got one um, 3.0 Bluetooth, and uh, you've got mini HDMI, which they did include a cable with that. You got a headphone jack and an SD card slot. Now there is gonna be an LTE version of this device. Uh, it should be coming soon. Now internals in here are 128 gigs of storage, which is really, really solid. Uh, the, the RAM obviously is eight gigs of RAM. It's running Windows 10 S, but you know, you can upgrade to Windows 10, but once you do that, you can't go back to, you know, you can't go back to Windows 10 S. So you lose some kind of uh, functionality there. Full touch screen. Uh, it works. It works really, really well, folks. Uh, it's a, the hinge on here is ridiculous. Um, it, it's really, really solid. It, it, you, this thing is built like a tank. It appears. So I don't think this is going to break anytime soon, uh, but the overall experience for using it. Now, what I did was, since I knew I would be on a plane for a, for a little bit, I loaded up some movies and um, I just plugged in a, a, a USB port, dragged some movies over. It transferred pretty fast. Uh, it does have an Intel Atom processor in here, so that is going to play a part, uh, but it plays a, a part later on in something else too, which is dealing with the battery. Uh, but viewing angles on here content it's a regular little mini laptop with a 1080p display uh and and i, I enjoyed watching videos on here it's really clear really fast no stutters or hiccups once i got the movies on here uh, it was really good now i will say that streaming youtube or doing youtube on here was a bit of a challenge at first since I, I opted not to it just takes a little bit of time going through the web browser uh and since you can't install chrome then you know you, you're stuck like chuck unless you convert over uh, and I don't want to convert this I don't want to do it. I want to leave it as S because uh, I converted my last Windows laptop and it was a mess There's tons of things still couldn't be done so uh, nonetheless um, when I found myself trying to stream things on YouTube it, it just it wasn't it took a while for things to load uh, and uh, it was very frustrating so I opted to just not stream with this uh, and it's not bad. It's definitely doable, but not to my standards. I mean, you're talking to someone who clicks on the video and you want to start within a few seconds. So yeah, that Intel Atom processor though definitely gives a gives a laptop a little bit of a hit. It's not the most powerful uh, processor in the world, uh, but when it comes to battery, this thing is killer. Uh, you should be able to get more than 10 hours, at least 10, at least nine uh, uh, hours of usage because I did uh, upwards of 10. Uh, and that's just predominantly though that was just basic web browsing um, watching videos that I had already stored on the device and you know emails things like that no heavy graphic intense things are going on here this is a travel buddy and that's exactly what it is but you can't hook up a full mouse you can hook up a, a separate keyboard you can do everything because it has the IO you can hook it to an external monitor for HDMI uh, it's it's a really doable portable travel buddy but just don't expect the performance that you might get from some other laptops i'm just being honest uh, but overall though it's really nice uh is, is it worth 300 bucks yes uh to the person to the right person if the processor was a kb lake processor or something like that it, it, you would be getting a lot of bang for a buck but you know the price will probably increase but it's definitely a 300 dollars laptop because it can get the basics done for you uh, especially data entry. You should have no problem with data entry because again, I put it like this and I used it like that. That is how I use it because I have huge hands, but for people with small hands, you should be okay. You shouldn't have any problems. So this little guy right here uh, is really solid. I'm telling you, it's built like a tank. It can go in any bag, back pocket. I put this in my back pocket uh, and it was just totally, it was just a good experience. So overall, while it's not the most powerful machine, Battery is good. The camera is decent for some video calls if you need to. Uh, and it's got tons of I.O. So remember that. So I'll leave a link down in the description so you can decide whether you want to support this product or not. And it's your man Jay, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Video quality is only going to be at 480p. But before you shake a leg at that, listen, the 5K iMac, remember, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is a quick sample of the video on the camera.